We're talking NAIA football from this past weekend. That is today on Midwest Sports Now. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and let's get straight to our primetime five. And first on the list tonight, Grandview. Quarterback Johnny Sullivan tossed 21 of 37 for 283 yards and five touchdown passes in a battle of the Vikings with Grandview coming away with a 42-20 victory over Missouri Valley on Saturday. To number four, well, 4A is Joe Dolinchek for Morningside. The quarterback had another off-the-charts performance going 23 of 35 and passing for 471 yards and six touchdowns. Now, he also had three interceptions, and that's probably what puts this at number four. 4B, four by the way, goes out to Reed Jurgensmeyer, his favorite target of the day, nine receptions, 266 yards, and three touchdown catches. Morningside, by the way, beat Midland 51 to 29. Moving on to number three, Jeremiah Farms from Friends. Five sacks on the day against Tabor. He has 8.5 sacks for the season to lead the NAIA. Did I mention five sacks on the day? Neither team scored, by the way, in this game in the first half. And in the second half, it was still a defensive battle. Tabor came away with the victory over Friends. 14 to 7 in that one. We move on to number two, Levi Schoenhoven from Dort. For the defenders, he had 35 carries for 298 yards, 298 rushing yards, and one touchdown. The defenders defeated Jamestown 41 16. By the way, for Schoenhoven, his 533 rushing yards on the season is good enough for number three in the NAI, and that takes us to number one. And speaking of rushing yards, here we go again. Benedictine, two players with at least 100 yards rushing, and as you would imagine, it's the usual suspects. Marquis Stewart with 169 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Charles Nyhart with 101 yards rushing and a touchdown. A third player, Isaac McPherson, had 96 yards rushing and a touchdown. The Ravens posted 634 yards of total offense on the afternoon, 461 rushing yards. Oh, and by the way, Marquis Stewart caught a touchdown pass as well, so that's four touchdowns for the day for Stewart. Stewart leads the NAI with 645 rushing yards and 13 touchdowns. That's tops in both categories. Oh, and let's not forget about the Ravens' defense, by the way. They allowed only seven first downs in the game, and four of them came by way of penalty, so really gave four of those first downs away. Benedictine is the real deal this year, and they are at the tops of this list for us on this primetime five here on Midwest Sports Now. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net. Again, I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you, and have a great one.